Pismo Beach Vintage Trailer Show. Yes, we are. Uh, in Pismo Beach. The 12th to 13th annual. Okay, so it happens once a year. Yep. Uh, how many trailers? Uh, over about 350. Wow. They take over the whole park. So it's more than Gulton. Yes, and this is what started uh, Gulton because I had so much fun being an attendee of this for a couple of years. Right. I said, we need to do more of these things. Yeah. So this is what uh, inspired, what inspired me yep. to have Buellton. Now, Buellton has its own flavor. It has its own charm. This yep. has its own thing. These shows fill up. There's a lot of vintage trailer people, a lot of trailer trash. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I heard that you um, you found a big drunk party yesterday and you sold your car because of it. I wasn't sure if I found it or it found me. I was cruising around just like you and I are doing now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to sell your car, find a party where they're drinking a lot. I didn't even have the for sale signs with it. On, on me. They were in my trailer and somebody says, you want to sell it? I said, as a matter of fact, I do. Yeah, so this even comes, the sale even comes uh, with this... Uh Driving this, what is this? 62 Ford Country Sedan. Okay, Country has... Sedan is the less expensive version of the Country Squire. Right. And it could be in six or nine passenger. This is a six passenger with a 390 engine. Factory yeah. 390. It's fast. It's very it's fast. fast. Yeah. But it's going to a new home. It is. It's okay. going up north.
once a year we do the Buellton Vintage Trailer Show, and this happens in May here at Pismo Beach. It's a pretty cool show. It's along the water, a little breezy. It's supposed to rain, I think, tonight or tomorrow night, so there are going to be some people splitting. But it's a pretty cool place. They got a general store, they got a restaurant, a clubhouse, all kinds of neat stuff over here. Right back there. But it's a chance for people that love vintage trailers to come and share and hang out for the weekend. Enjoy the uh, a little seaside village living and have some fun. boggles my mind the level to which people will go to experience joy in their lives. The interesting thing about seeing a, a large group of people like the, the, the groups of vintage trailer owners that were at the Pismo show is that, that everyone is striving essentially for the same thing. And, uh, it, and it shows how important it is to identify yourself not only with something that you love to do, consistently, but a, a large group of people that you can you can do that thing around. Many people that are unhappy, uh, they don't have those two things. They don't necessarily know what it is that they want that makes them happy. They experience it from time to time, and they certainly don't have a, another like-minded group of people where they can share that with. But ultimately, for me, it comes down to, to being able to not only identify what it is that you love, but be able to share it in some way, be able to give it in some way. I love hanging out with David because he's always um, looking for the best in people and always giving the best of himself. It's inspiring. It's inspiring to hang out with people that um, they're not necessarily naturally optimistic and positive all the time, uh, but it, it takes work to do that because you're interacting not necessarily with always positive people. The point is not to be distracted. The point is to stay focused. And uh, uh, that message keeps presenting itself in, in car shows that you go to and in places where, where people are sharing what it is that they love and, and giving stories and a lot of those things. We strive to do that on the weekends, but we don't make necessarily make that a priority in our lives. If you guys have had a chance to hang out with us on Art Talk, which is another show that we do on Facebook Live, uh, eight o'clock in the mornings, Pacific Standard, time every weekday morning you know, we, we strive to help you guys to achieve that to identify what it is that you love give you tools and things that that will help along the way so that you can manifest more joy and happiness and and the things that you enjoy in life I encourage you to join us uh, to to come and hang out it's it's a 
a way for you to be able to share stories and do it in a live format. I can't necessarily interact with you guys through the vlog here, although you'll leave comments from time to time, and I really appreciate that. But if you really want to step up your game, you really need the tools to be able to achieve it. And one of those tools might be to, to get yourself a classic car or a vintage trailer or something by which that you could work on as a creative person and to be able to share that that piece of art with somebody else. Okay, thanks for watching guys. I appreciate you uh, hanging out with us. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't to the, the vlog here on YouTube or wherever it is that you're watching this. We're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all those places. But more than that, I encourage you to get out to the car shows and interact with people and um, and swap stories. The bottom line is to, to be your best and then watch in amazement as the best comes back to you. All right guys, more stuff coming, especially Gallery 2. Lots of cool artists coming your way. We will see you out there.